Eve, as security ramps up in our nation's capital ahead of tomorrow's inauguration of Joe Biden, President Trump closed out his four years in office with a YouTube address to the nation. We did what we came here to do, and so much more. This week, we inaugurate a new administration and pray for its success in keeping America safe and prosperous. Justin Shecker is live in West Palm Beach near Mar-a-Lago, where President Trump is headed tomorrow. Justin. Jen, good evening. I can tell you that Palm Beach has become accustomed to the many visits by President Trump during his four years in office. The road closures around Mar-a-Lago are already in place ahead of his arrival tomorrow, and the town's police department says it's trained and prepared for any security concerns about the presence of a former president. Now, the private club Donald Trump purchased back in 1985 has been called the Winter White House. Some of his neighbors argue he can't live there full-time because of a deal he cut with the town in the early 90s. The Trump organization did Denies that. President Trump will remain relevant in Repub Republican politics. He returns to a state with many supporters and allies, including Governor Ron DeSantis. But President Trump's second impeachment for inciting insurrection has cast a shadow over his final weeks in office. During his final recorded speech from the White House, he addressed the deadly Capitol riot by a group of his supporters just 13 days ago. All Americans were horrified by the assault on our Capitol. Political violence is an attack on everything we cherish as Americans. It can never be tolerated. And tomorrow, President Trump will break with more than 150 years of tradition by not attending the inauguration of his successor, Joe Biden. And he is expected to touch down here in South Florida before Joe Biden takes the oath of office. We're live tonight in Palm Beach County. I'm Justin Shecker, 8 on your side.